Hey guys, it's Zaley Barclay of ZaleyBarclay.com. I am your visual and video content creation coach and Thinkific expert. I am also the owner of the Start, Shoot, Grow Video Academy over at StartShootGrow.com. So today we are talking about... So let's dive right into it. So we know that Canva is now stepping into the video game. So I have had video capabilities for a while now, and I wanna say a few months well, if not well into last year. And so I've been uploading little snippets of video inside of my Canva account. So where you have uploads, you're going to see images, and that will be all of your images, right? You guys know I love creating in here. And then I have videos. So they're both separate. So that's where you would look on your accounts to see it. Now, one pretty cool thing is that I use video in two ways in Canva, in three ways, but today we're actually covering two ways. So you guys know I create courses, I love creating content. If you're on this channel, then you already know what it is. You already know what's good. So in here, I'm showing you guys the first set of videos I will be showing you um, is how I create a video inside of Canva. So this is a 1080 by, I can't remember the dimensions. Let's check that. 1080, sorry, 1920 by 1080. So that is the regular size of what a YouTube video would be. So that's what we're creating here. And we're kind of creating it for a sales page of a course that I have. So I have a bundle that you can only get um, in a specific sequence that I have within Thinkific, and it's five courses for only $97, right? But before it, I have a full-blown free class. If you want access to that free class, definitely click down in the description box below and you can get in touch with that offer if you would like, right? But anyway, so I'm creating a sales page for it. And on a sales page, we always want a sales video, right? What's that? That's such a good place to put a video because it's where you have a touch point, a point of contact with the person that you would, you know, that you're creating for. So I am creating today a sales video in here and I will show you how I actually create promo clips for Instagram anytime I have a video as well. So let's dive right into it. So what I did was I created a file it is a presentation size file. And so that size is 1920 by 1080. And what I did was I added what I wanted in there as far as text. What do I want it to say? So I added it in the regular form of text and I added it onto that presentation. Now I had a few things that I created with elements. So I got my circles and things like that. So let's say I want this square in there, you know, just an example. That's how I dragged it and dropped it in. The other thing was I knew that I wanted clips of content of me talking and working because what we're talking about is using video in your business, right? So I got some clips of me working on camera. So if I press play here, you'll see what that is like, right? You can actually press play within the actual um, clip, right? So I just took that clip and I dragged it and dropped it. So let's say I'm using this clip. I dragged it and dropped it. But let me show you one thing. This clip is funny. Um, what you can do is you can also trim, right? So you can trim this. Before I trim this, let me just take the volume off. So that's how you take the volume off. You hit volume and then you drag that down to zero. For me, I didn't want um, any sound, any talking in this just for this type of video, but you can also leave your volume up. The only thing you can't do in this Canva with video is um, record a voiceover on it. So I would use this more for promotional videos. If I am doing a video with a voiceover, I would use my regular Filmora or you know whatever tool that you use to edit with. But this is pretty cool. And I will attach this video that I created after this video so that you can see what the video turned out like, right? So that's how you would drop your video. Like I said before, you're able to trim your video so you can take certain parts of a video as well. One cool thing that I did was I added 
a computer. So I added a computer so you can look in elements and you can find laptops and such. And I dropped the video inside of it. And that gave me the ability to show as if taking someone or walking them through what inside that course looks like. So that is a really good tip too. So be sure that you, you know, get, get creative with it, get crazy with it. You guys know I love designing inside of Canva. So I just do all sorts of different things. To record this video, I used Loom and that is loom.com and I will link Loom down below. It's a really, really cool tool for screen sharing right? So you want to keep that in mind. So yes. And then when you're downloading, all you have to do is choose video. Video is in beta and you know, you have your selected pages for this. I selected all because I wanted a full video and I just hit download. One more thing before we leave, you have the ability to add music. So you can head over to music and you can go through their selection and it will show up here right? Most likely this is royalty free music, so it should not be flagged by YouTube. And you're also able to alter that volume as well. All right, guys, I hope this part was helpful. So the next part of this video is dedicated to my Instagram feed. So if you follow me on Instagram, I am at Zaley Barclay on Instagram, but you could also find me over at Start, Shoot, Grow, which is where I have content that is complementary to you using video content to grow your online business, right? So if you look at that profile, you'll see where I put snippets and clips of videos that I'm using. So I create most of my graphics inside of Canva. But one thing that I had so much fun doing was creating a template for videos so that it's just not plain, it's a bit branded. And so people know that it's me when they see me, right? This is such a funny clip. <laughs> However, what I do is I make sure that the size is 1080 by 1080. And what I also do is I make sure that I am adding my video in there. So I go back over to uploads and whatever video I upload, I actually create a template for it. So I am going to duplicate this so that I can actually add this new video here because I have to post this video. This video, I this face is so funny. <laughs> so this video is about abundance. If you're on my YouTube channel, it's about my routine. So if you're on my YouTube channel, um, make sure to go check out that video right after this one if you are looking to create a better routine for work. <laughs> so what I wanna show you is what I actually do. So I am going to resize this video a bit. So you saw me drag and drop it. And also for Instagram, we wanna keep things under one minute, especially if it's going onto your feed. So because this is 109, I'm going to bring this down a bit so that you know I don't get issues with uploading to Instagram. And what I also want to do is I want to bring this in a bit because I want to center my face a bit more, right? So this is good. I don't mind this part missing. Um, but yes, so this is how I do this. Um, this is just a template that I have. You can definitely do a full video. So a full video will look more like this. So add new page and then I'm going to add that same video again. But what I'm going to do is just bring it all the way out and that will give me a full Instagram tile, right? And then I can make sure again to trim that video because you don't want that um, Instagram rejects the video as well, right? So you're able to now download this full frame and that will be the size of your Instagram video. It will fit perfectly. So what you want to do then is make sure that when you're downloading this kind of video that you are down, you're hitting download. And when you hit download, make sure you're doing a video. And then you want to select just that one page. When you select that one page, so before for the course video, we wanted all of the slides to make up one big video. This video was like about four or five minutes by the time I was done with all the slides. But with this kind of video, what I want is just one, um, one of these tiles. So I'm going to make sure that I get page five. You can see the page here. And then I'm going to hit download 
and it's going to download that one tile. So that's how I create videos for my promotional content on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever you want to add it, you can. That size is pretty standard. You can definitely create the other sizes in Instagram as well. And if you wanna create stories with videos in them, you would just do the same thing, but just resize it for stories specifically. If you wanna see um, how I would create stories in Canva, definitely let me know down below and I will make that happen. So Canva is on the forefront of video right now. You can do so many things right now. I know that this is gonna grow because I can see the potential in it. And also um, with video, it takes a little while to prepare and download. So just leave it downloading and go do something else by the time. That's one thing that I did realize and I wanted to share that as well. But it's a pretty cool tool. Like I'm so excited because it's now easier for me to create promotional content in the same place that I create um, other types of content. And I'm really excited about that video aspect for sales pages, you know, because it's short order to do that in Canva, you know, and easier for somebody who isn't able to, let's say, edit easily, right? So that's one thing. Um, I'm laughing at the frames, but definitely you want to think about using something like this inside of your workflow, just so that your audience also knows when you posted a new video. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions about this, leave them down below and let me know what you wanna see next down below as well. Please remember to subscribe and share this with anyone that you can think about and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.
Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Also, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. I love you guys, and I will see you soon.